Galaxy Note 9 just got closer in terms of features to the newer Galaxy S20 and Note 10 thanks to this recent One UI 2.1 update. Glad that the Note 9 is still getting support from Samsung. So in this video, I'll walk you through the top 5 new upgrades you'll be getting with this update. Number 1 is Single Take. A camera feature that was first introduced on the S20 which allows for taking multiple photos and video types in a single shot. On the camera app, you can select single take here and then start shooting the scene in video mode at a maximum of 8 seconds. Once done, you will find different takes in the gallery, grouped in one place. The video along with different shots and boomerangs like animations. According to my experience, the feature does not always give perfect results, but it is useful for quick shooting. The second feature is Quick Share. I've already showed this feature on the Galaxy Tab S6 and now I'm glad it's hitting the Note 9. Quick Share is similar to Apple's AirDrop, finally. Now you can transfer files between Samsung devices in a couple clicks. Select the file you want to send and click the Share option. Then you will automatically see the list of Samsung devices nearby. Click the device name, accept the reception and you're done. For this to work, quick share option needs to be activated here. The third feature is AR Zone. Samsung has grouped all AR related features in one app called AR Zone. You can access it either from the camera or open it from the app drawer. AR Zone integrates a new improved AR emoji that you can freely customize its face and even design its own clothes and movements in the AR Emoji Studio. The AR camera has an improved face detection and tongue tracking. And now you have this new home decoration section from which you can place furniture powered by Wayfair and also Samsung appliances like refrigerators. Just make sure to show the app icon on the app screen if you are not finding it. Speaking of not finding things, what if you never lose your phone data even when you delete them? Well, that's what our today's video sponsor Dr. Phone by Wondershare can do. Dr. Phone is a data recovery app for Android and iOS and comes also with a complete Windows and Mac software for more advanced control. The smartphone app allows you to perform the simple tasks like backup or transfer data to other devices and also recover your lost photos and data in case your phone is rooted. But the Mac and Windows tools are the more advanced solutions. Once your Android or iPhone is plugged to your computer, Dr. Phone can recover your lost data, explore and transfer files between devices, backup your phone and social media messages, repair many software common issues or even remove the screen lock authentication or Apple ID. Actually, Dr. Phone gives you the professional tools you need to deeply control your phone in an easy guided way. Keep in mind that some actions need root access. So to enjoy all these features, check the links below for the Dr. Phone website to download any OS version you need. Now, back to number 4 which is the upgraded Samsung keyboard that convinced me to switch for the first time after using SwiftKey for years. Samsung added some very helpful features, like translating directly from the keyboard. Choose the translate option here, your input and output languages, then whatever you type in the keyboard will be automatically written in the output language in your document or texting app. Very helpful. There is also a new search option from which you can search for emojis, stickers and even Spotify songs without opening the app. Search results will be directly displayed on the keyboard and tapping the result will insert a link for it. That's neat. You can also access Samsung Pass from here to easily fill your email and passwords on websites. And last but not least, Pro Videos are finally back. In the camera app, you can select Pro Video Mode and manually adjust everything like the ISO, the aperture and focus. This is like Pro Photos but for videos. It is helpful as you're not stuck with the default mode and colors Samsung preset for you. And since we're talking cameras, other improvements can be noticed. Like a better night mode that is automatically suggested here when shooting a dark scene and the new custom filters you can create. 
So these were the main features update. Let me know which one was your favorite, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.